What's up everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Road to Rank 1. Today we're going to be starting against Mr. Fighting Frog, who is a 5.8k pros player on the European server. And we're going to start out with a uh, potential 1 gate expand as well, I guess. Um, yeah, a, 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 a lot of potential 1 gate expand. Well, no, a potential 1 gate expand, depending on whether my opponent decides to block me or not. So, we're going to be building a 13 gateway here. And now, really, um, there's a couple of ways to deal with everything. Um, but first of all, let's see if we can get our Nexus down. All right, it's going to be the first thing. And from there on out, we're going to see exactly what happens. Um, so if he does a gateway scout or a pylon scout, he's going to be able to get the block off on the Nexus. Uh, second gas scout, I don't think so. First gas scout, I think perhaps he's capable of getting the block off. This is definitely too late. So he won't be able to get the block off right now. Um, as a oh, he played Nexus first. There's actually a 100% way you can beat Nexus first, but I'm fine with just playing it out as well. I believe Proxy Void Ray is a 100% win against Nexus first, but I could be wrong. This is still a, a good matchup for me. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. So his first pylon is on the high ground. My first pylon is low ground, which is a big plus for me. Um, second of all, my tech is going to be quite a bit faster, which also is a decently sized plus for me. I'm just going to block this area, meaning he's going to... He's not building a cyber core or what? He's forgetting. This has to be forgetting a cyber core now. This is not normal. Wait, what's happening here? Does he have a second pylon on the low ground? He is the only thing I can imagine. Okay, there we go. Thank God. I don't think he has anything really going on right now for him. I actually want this one to clear this pro. Now. It might sound like a logical thing to get phoenixes, but I actually think in this case, case An oracle makes a lot more sense. So we're gonna go here. And maybe even straight away here. So he's been investing, I wanna say quite heavily in his, uh, in his dudes. So once these, this one finishes, we're just like phoenixes and all that. I shouldn't have recalled that because I might need to recall this. Seven kills. Um, in my opinion, we're really far ahead right now. We can get two more, I think, because his his tech is going to be garbage. So, even though I could have gone for the Phoenix battle, I think his eco would have been slightly better than mine, which would have obviously been a, a major negative for me. And now my eco is probably better than his, and also my tech is way nicer than what he has currently. Let's see if he finished that gateway actually, or if we can just slide in. Oh, he finished that gateway. Um. So 
So I kind of just want to split these guys up so they don't get found at the same time. Okay, this is all we have. When it comes to units so far. I'm gonna get two more gateways. I wonder what this actual plan is. Oh, it's mass void now? Oh, he's just gonna go into void race, I guess. Fair play. I mean, that actually is fair play, you know? I can kind of see the the reason why he do that. I think I saw him move out just now. We're gonna put... Is that three I put there? I think I just put three there, yeah. So that's gonna turn into five. This is four. I'm gonna need one of these actually. Just in case. I think we'll be fine, but just in case. I'm gonna get like a couple of cannons here and there. Um, I mean, I'm so far ahead when it comes to money that I think this is uh, a completely responsible thing to do. GG. Yeah. Very, very nice game for me here. Um, I killed eight workers and from there on out it's just smooth sailing. So he tried his best, but the low ground wall for me is just so useful. Let's take a look at the, the workers active. Yeah, this is where he loses the workers and from there on out he's just behind. My tech being a little bit faster. I know he's on one gate. Um, he invested a lot in trying to get a low ground wall up, which uh, yeah, ends up just being too painful for him basically. So yeah, uh, pretty clear win for me. That's nice. Move a 5.5 k tolls. Search times are pretty long as well. Seems like a lot of people are playing around this time. Pretty late in the afternoon though, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, oh no! <laughs> content. <laughs> there. Oh content. <laughs> It's the same thing with the tree, you know? If a tree falls in the forest without anyone there to, to see it, did it really fall? It's the same with content. <laughs> if you didn't really film it and upload it to YouTube, is it really content? I think it is. Everything is content, alright. Um, we're gonna be... Just to... No, we're not gonna be scouting. We're gonna proxy a Stargate over here. I love doing that type of stuff. It's so much fun to play. It's quite exciting with Stargate because it's the structure that it actually matters if you get spotted or not. So like if you build a robo and it gets spotted, it's like it sucks because they can change their the way that they're gonna play, but if they find your Stargate and they find it too fast, you just lose the game. Like there's that's it, you know? Just press the record button. <laughs> I actually wanna check now, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> what a wholesome guy. Wants to make sure he gets his mode of getting blasted on the road to rank 1. And you got it. Too bad he's a barcode. I'm afraid to build it too close, honestly. Yeah, people who didn't risk it in history never really got anywhere, so... Straight next to his base, baby. <laughs> There's no going back from here. <laughs> So, um, we, we could kind of build in an insurance policy here, as in we open Stalker Stalker, then get a, a Stargate, but that delays our Oracle. If there's one thing I hate doing, is delaying proxy Stargate Oracles. So, guess what? I'm <laughs> just building it ASAP. It's still gonna be semi final I think. Um, so, I, I kind of want... Uh, but I'm not sure what I want. I kind of want to double scout maybe around. No. <coughs> we'll leave it like this for now. So we have double stalker. And we're just going to scout over here. Make sure that nothing is being proxied by him. If we don't find anything. Or if we do find anything. Depending on what we find. We might want to get a, uh, a straight. Did I scout here? No I didn't. Not yet. So we're gonna get a battery, that's what I was trying to say earlier. <laughs> that's really what all of this was uh, heading to. Um, 
I forgot the cancel, that's not good. At this point he's playing a, oh it seems to be a 4 gate even. I was gonna say this is a 3 gate guys, I know my timings very well, but I don't think he knows his timings at all. I, I didn't actually know 4 gate was still a thing. It's actually one of the best builders, for build orders against what I'm currently doing, but I think it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, he's actually getting blink as well, that's interesting. Oh this is bad. Yeah, Blink makes this more interesting in that um, it's actually possible for him to, to get something done in that case. Base is under attack. So I actually need to expand now. I'm not sure if Blink for me was the right. I think Robo would have been a way better call. I mean, he's playing freaking 4-gate uh, shenanigans, huh? I could get the T's, I guess, but I've never been a massive fan of, of that type of play. Yes, sir. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I'm not feeling it very much at all. I wonder if I can do some damage with my dudes here. I have a bad feeling about this game, honestly. Okay, he spotted that, which sucks. Majorly. So getting these two adapts actually is kind of a big deal, I think. Let's see if we can pop in here. Oh, we can pop in here for sure. This means he's, this is going to trigger a response from him, obviously. Well, we get two for free. Well, for free, it's an even trade, which actually isn't good for us. I think we might be losing a little bit. If he targets my thing next time around, that would definitely be a potential issue. GG, I think he saw the DT and he gave up. That must have been it. He has no base. I think moving across the map was a little bit risky even, but I mean, what did he really have? So he had 10 stalkers here against seven stalkers. He can one shot. I think he sh well, staying in would have been rough. I should have kept it at home though. That was a mistake, but I mean, a win is a win. It's going to give me like a single point, two points. Nice fighting. And uh, we're going to play a couple more games. Let's hope, oh, instantly find the game. Now this is going to be an opponent. Yeah, I can see this. Anyone I know? Not in my uh, friend list at least. Furcon. How did I instantly find someone that is 5.9k MMR? That's interesting. Have fun, have fun, Furcon. Okay, Terran. We all know I love Terrans. You can go for a, uh, a wall here on the top. And then go into a... Uh, it's just a robo opener, really. So I have a couple of robo openers. Um, I like some more than the other, but there's one specific one that I I am definitely I, I keep coming back to, and that's my two or three gate into Colossus. I just really like playing it, and honestly, it, I I don't think it's it's super brilliant sometimes, and other times I play it and it feels super smooth. Like the, the thing with that build is is you just need to be playing 
safe and well from the start like you can't be losing units for free um a lot of it depends on what happens with your first few units like your two adapts or your your adapt and your stalker and um if you're if you're not playing well on that day then this is a build that is that can be difficult to play like usually when i'm not playing well on a day i like to play phoenix builds because phoenix builds are just i don't know they just feel safe you know like you have your units you have your map control which is really rare against her and usually i never have map control so yeah in, in this case i feel like i'm playing well today I, I think we can get away with a cheeky robo game um what's this 25 so this is 20. I kind of want to see if it's a marine first or not. I just like knowing that. Um, just making sure. Okay, 142. Uh, normal timed. I mean, there's no marine yet, but it is possible that he just didn't get it yet. I want to give him one punch. Okay. I already gave him one punch. Okay, we're going to go. <coughs> now with... with it is possible that he's gonna go look for my probe. I don't mind that, honestly. I like it when they look for my probe. I just don't want it to be found immediately. He he went to look for my probe, by the way. He just missed it. It's also really a classic. Okay, this is good. Now we're gonna get this guy for sure. Um, okay, this is really freaking good for us. This is insanely good. I think this is this is nice for me. I think. Uh oh, he walked into a wall as well. Like you can't go up here, buddy. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That was nice for me. That was really solid. I'm gonna get this SCV. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get this SCV. There we go. Um, do I go over here already? No, not yet. Yeah. Uh, this is very rare when you're playing against a, a barracks first reaper. <clears throat> to actually uh, delay by this much. It is not common at all. Really not common. Just gonna make sure that it's not the uh, reactor hellions or some something something like that. Let's see if we can catch him. How did he know that I was gonna um. I don't actually want to be here anymore. It feels a little bit dangerous. On the other hand, there's only a single, there's only a single dude, right? Base is under attack. But these two are giving me some warning if he decides to move out with anything, which honestly this just doesn't really seem to be the case. He says as 12 marines move out on the map. Kinda wanna punch back, you know? Turn around to be like, hey! Get on over here, mate. Get on over here. Two more marines. Rexus already done. That's fast. Raven could be a potential mind drop. Seems unlikely. I don't understand why he scanned. Um, yeah, yeah, I just don't understand why he scanned. That was my, the end of my sentence. Period. <laughs> Do I want this many workers? I'm not sure if I should be chrono boosting like a madman here. Yeah, I want to send one adapt across the map. I am once again pretty blind. I am pretty blind. And this map against Raven <coughs> can be quite tricky. Um, I want range, I think, here. I just wouldn't mind range. Do I want to chrono it? More. That's pushing it again. I don't think I want to chrono it. I think I want blink. I didn't see tanks. Blink makes sense. Right? Well, yeah. I'm really the one making the coffee. Five gates. 
Five gates feels nicer than six. Six, I mean, six is nicer to have, but sometimes I feel like I get a little bit stuck with my minerals in that case. But with, with five, I get a nice worker count as well. Um, we get good pylon spread, honestly. Need one. Can we get away with one more? I know, it always feels a bit much, honestly. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely afraid. I think he might be doing some, some weird push. Oh no, okay, it's a straightforward push. Um, I have two. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Oh. One, two, three, four. Why, why would he not have the the raven there? I don't understand that. Oh, this is really nice for us. Oh, he boosted in. Okay, well that's game then, isn't it? That's kind of how this game works. Yeah, this is game then. Because um, the moment we get blink, so what's the? Oh, there's a lot of energy. In there. I'm gonna need to put something on the edge. Two of them. Or he might be uh, get tempted to jump in. I mean, we have range. We have a good count of sentries. We're not supply block. We haven't been supply block once. This is nice. Um, the only thing that could catch me now is some drop in the main or something like that. Oh, okay. If we catch this real fast. We have a lot of cash now, though. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, this is gonna suck a little bit, I think. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. And now the problem is fixed. So uh, I killed his CC and I teleported back home, Whoop. which is good obviously for me. And now we're just gonna trade out. I mean, he's in so much trouble, honestly. What's that a tank? What a depot? What is this? This is a random depot. What was that random depot, eh? What's this? Okay, still has some. I mean, these guys are gonna be completely useless. The oh, he doesn't have a base here. These salads. He's gonna need some, some low testosterone salads, guys. So I feel like my salads have been juicing, but these guys. Uh -uh. Okay, this is bad. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, it's just. It's just not good. This is not good. Okay, we can kill this. Ah, uh, crap. Did I kill the thing? I didn't notice if I did. Okay, he lifted. He sent the raven back home, which means he has nothing for my uh, invisible man. The invisible man does it again. A legend.
Ooh. That's not great for you, mate. Mr. Furkan. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Ba -da -da bam. A couple of random socks here. He honestly did not, did not, did not do a bad job with the, the army movement. I don't mind this army movement. Upgrade complete. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Ba -da -da. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Uh oh. What is that phrase actually? That's one one. I'm very afraid of like some some random push coming uh Yes, over here. This is exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I'm a little bit out of position here. Um. That was good. I mean, he's in loads of trouble. This game should have been way easier. We took way too many risks and it almost cost us. It should have cost us if it was better. We would have lost this game and we would have deservedly lost some points. He still had 2cc. Um, which means he rebuilt that third base after I killed it, I guess. Or I didn't clear this one properly. I think he might have just, yeah, he just rebuilt it. So it means we're actually we're in a two-base, two-base situation. Even though if you look at the game now, I'm the one who's making things happen. He has less income, worse army, and he has no counter. So this attack is the dumbest thing I could have done. No charge, no nothing, no good vision on the map. I thought he couldn't sneak by here, but I mean, he had the forward base. This was very poorly done by me, and it really almost cost me. It's gonna give me uh, six points. That's good. Like these are the important games to win as well, you know. You can say, well, it's not that hard. Like you're better or you're higher MMR, but really, these are the games where you lose the most MMR and where you really get tested to make sure that that, that you're solid. And this didn't look very solid for me. I was too too greedy. I wanted to finish too fast, which that's never a good thing. Always take your time with it. So we'll play one more game. And then uh, hopefully another four wins. Yesterday four wins, today three so far. So plus one and uh, we can do it. Comes the real test in mana. 6.4K MMR. Mana goes up and down, it's so insane. One day he'll be at 6.3, the other day at 6.7. I have no clue how he does it. But his PVP is absolutely insane. Like I find his PVP super impressive. The way that he plays. Um, I have such a difficult time against him, but someone like Showtime has a way easier time against mana. So th there is something in what Showtime does that must kind of, you know, destroy him. But I haven't quite found it. I struggle mightily with mana. Um, and we're playing on pillars, which means it's uh, one gate expand time. I've been one gate expanding also on some of the other maps, of course, but on pillars it's such a... Uh, you have to. <coughs> you know, you kind of have to. It makes no sense not to. Because you have this nice ramp, you... Uh, yeah, you have just an easy defense against all of the all-ins. And I find it easy to scout as well on this map, so... We're gonna have a quick look, see what he's... Uh, our good friend is up to. No Nexus first, that's interesting. We're just gonna stay down for a bit. Oh, okay, cool. He scouted us. Um, uh, he's, he's gonna all in me then. <coughs> and that's fine. Him all inning me is fine. I think I know all the responses. So, because I've seen him come up and him leave immediately, rather than blocking, I know that he wants to all in me. Which means that... Um, we're just gonna be looking for the proxy at this point. Okay, I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't know what it is because I know what it is. I know he's going to be aligning me. That's just it. So I have uh, two men doing overtime here on the scouting. Or women, I'm not sure. Probes are classified like that. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Uh, 
Okay. I'm afraid of... Wait, it's opening Phoenix? And a Stalker. Okay, this I've never seen before. Oh yeah, I, I don't know this. So we found him. And he opens with a phoenix. Now, unless this is a trick. The trick du jour. Let's have a quick look. Just making sure. Ah, avoid race. It was a trick. I think this makes absolutely no sense. He needs his... Uh, his batteries, though, doesn't he? I mean, without batteries, I don't see him breaking me. Maybe I'm the... The idiot in that case. Do we get a second gateway? I think we can. That seems fair. Uh, oh, we're actually gonna be supply block or what? We need to cancel our, our dude. Is he, does he have batteries over here or what? Oh yeah, he has. Yeah, well, we're just gonna... Uh, That's one that we just stole from him. He's very far away, huh? Very, very far away. Okay, that was bad because he also stole one from us. And we still have one low HP one as well. I think we're dead. Hello, I am being not human. Hmm. I thought I would be able to, uh, to stop this, honestly. I really did think I was going to be able to to get the to get the W here. I need to get back into the lab, I think, and, and figure out exactly how to beat this one then. I think I popped my first super battery too quick as well. well I mean, this is over. I don't know a lot. But I do know that this is it. Huh. Interesting. I had good income. Perhaps I went a bit too hard on the probes. Not enough gateways. Hmm. Where did it go wrong? Let's have a quick uh, quick look. I think I could have been a bit more aggressive pushing this back. Because I have healing here and he doesn't really. Um, so here I think I should have gone for him. I think I went for him here, didn't I? I think the next one I do. Here I go. Which was, I think, a good call. Honestly. Hop. 
the battery. Probably save my void ray here. Then I get my next one. And here I'm too far forward, which means he gets the the kill on me. Star void ray should be in the back, salads in the front, that type of stuff. So I'm too slow to respond there. And then my void rays don't do any damage. I get one activation. Um, I should have gotten another gateway immediately as well. I have good good void ray count. Like I'm up a void ray. Gonna be up two void rays. That was bad. This was really bad because here I activated three void rays and didn't get anything done. That should never happen. So then he's gonna have a really nice timing soon, which is gonna suck. Three versus ten though. But I have so many batteries here, and here I lose the game. Yeah, if I have my activation here, I think I can still do it. But I didn't. Okay, so maybe it wasn't too bad for me. I made two major errors. I think this was playable, but. It doesn't matter, because I lost this one, and I think we lost basically all the MMR that we had before, so that's going to be it for now. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash the likes button, and uh, see you all next time. Bye bye.